Hello friends, this video on PEDO Acclimates part 16 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's start with the group 14 element, the carbon family, right? So the carbon here is the 17th most abundant element by mass in the earth crust. So we have this uh, carbon family where we talk about carbon, silicon, germanium, tin, lead, all these elements we'll talk about. So carbon is nothing but a very critical element. And you know that there is a special chapter in chemistry for that, the organic chemistry because of the uh, special characteristics and usage of carbon. And the carbon exists in three allotropes and various forms actually. It exists as coal, diamond, graphite, sometimes coke, charcoal. So they are there, they are various forms, but in elemental form, it exists as coal, graphite, and diamond. And in combined state, it is present as the metal carbonates, hydrocarbons. There are so many hydrocarbons. In fact, if you see the organic chemistry branch itself is uh, for this hydrocarbon. Soap is one example of hydrocarbon, right? And also, if you see the carbon dioxide, there also we have carbon. So these are in the combined state. And in the elemental state, they exist in these three forms. And as I told, the whole organic chemistry is devoted to carbon compound. And please note, organic chemistry is only with the carbon and hydrogen compounds. If you see, talk about carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, these things we study in inorganic chemistry, even if it has carbon. So because organic chemistry generally deal, deal with the carbon, hydrogen, and carbon concatenation uh, properties where it forms big weak structures with carbon. And it is essential for all the living organism. We have good amount of carbon in our body is very critical for us to survive. And also if you see in the, in the photosynthesis also carbon is used. That is also very critical. Uh, plants use carbon dioxide to produce food using chlorophyll, right? And naturally occurring isotopes, there are two. One is C12 and C13. They are the two naturally occurring carbon compound or carbon uh, forms and they are stable. There is one more uh, uh, that is there which is uh, not natural, uh, is very, very rare. This third isotope it is C14 is unstable actually. And this is radioactive. This is radioactive and this is used for radioactive carbon dating. It is used to find what is the age of a particular uh, monument. For example, some monument is found on the earth crust and then uh, they'll find out what is the age of that or let's find we found some tree. We want to find what is the age of the tree. So these things we found using uh, these uh, third isotope that is C14. This is helpful. It's very helpful actually because in the archaeology department uh, uh, if you want to find the history of uh, all these civilizations, they want to find how old the stone is, which let's suppose uh, someone has got some stone somewhere uh, by digging some mine, they want, to, they want to find how old this st uh, stone is or other stuff they can find using carbon dating process. In this, in this C14 carbon is quite used. Silicon is also my part of carbon family and if you see all the sand is nothing but silicon and they are very much abundant. They are the second most abundant in the earth crust. 27.7% by mass. And they are very important compounds to create the ceramics, cements, glass, glass. So this is glass, the ceramic, the cement. They are very uh, critical to create this. And silicon is also used to create uh, semiconductors. They are used, silicons are very useful to create semiconductors. And this is something which has driving the world now, all this uh, IT industry, computer science, all the computers, fridge, uh, micro microwave, washing machine, mobile phones, all these runs on chips and they are all made of silicon. Silicon is a very powerful uh, element actually, you can say that, right? So we'll discuss more about silicon also. Germanium, it exists only in trace. And when you talk about, uh, it exists mainly in the, uh, Castorite and uh, galena form. Lead, lead was used earlier as a pencil. That's why the, it's called lead pencil. But now, since the lead is poisonous, it is no longer the lead is no longer used here. So here, instead of lead, we use graphite. And what is graphite? Is nothing but carbon. So instead of lead, carbon is used in pencils now. But still, the lead pencil word holds the name. The lead was also used earlier in petrol for anti-knocking thing. But again, since the lead is poisonous, it is no, no longer used. And as I told, uh, the silicon, right, and uh, gallium, these are used to create transistors and semiconductors. The ultra pure form of silicon is used to create 
semiconductors, which are very very critical for us because it has given a new dimensions to our life. It has given all the comforts we expect. In fact, you are watching this video now because you are sitting in front of a computer which is nothing but made from silicon. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.